Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example here. This will be divided into multiple series whereby we are going to look at the simulation as an entirety as a whole. We are going to explore the reactor design, how to get the volume and how to size your reactor using three different methods to get your volume. We are also going to use the ODE solver such as Octave to help us solve and integrate some of those along equations. The next thing we're also going to do is also do the heat exchanger design. So we are going to look at multiple things here. I'm going to separate this into at least videos so that you can grasp and get the concept or the ideology behind this entire project that was designed over here as you can see on my screen we have a simulation here which is basically the production of ammonia from hydrogen by mixing it with nitrogen and our hydrogen is super green as it is produced from water i always feel like it's important to mention that there are various ways there's multiple ways to make and produce hydrogen we could have probably just decided to say we are going to use the combustion of glucose in the presence of oxygen water to form carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and hydrogen um we could have also said we are going to use steam methane reforming where we are going to um react methane and water to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen we could have also reacted our methane with carbon dioxide to produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen we could have separated ammonia into nitrogen and hydrogen so basically there's multiple ways guys we'll take a shift reaction where we are carbon dioxide and water so there's really 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 many ways to produce hydrogen but for the sake of this um project here let us say we want to produce a green Green hydrogen as green as possible so we are going to use water electrolysis the first step when you go to your aspirin simulator if you have it if you have cocoa you can use cocoa if you have dwsim use your simulator of choice i will really try my best to simulate this with more than one simulator for the first example it's just an overview of the aspirin simulator i'll do a detailed one for cocoa and dwsim so if you go to properties you are going to have to add your components now for this particular example here we are going to have water hydrogen oxygen nitrogen potassium potassium hydroxide um, hydroxide ion and ammonia once you've added your components we are going to make use of a tool called elect wizard which goes hand in hand for a simulator on aspen which is meant to be designed for water electrolysis another thing to consider it's the methodology still under properties which method are we going to use here let's say we're going to use a base method of electrolysis now that we've looked at the basics let us go to our simulator for our simulator you can see it as at its entirety it's very straightforward pretty simple nothing complicated over here okay let's look at it to produce hydrogen stream 8 we have to react stream 1 which is water and its electrolyte solution together with stream 2 which is your water these two can be mixed at one bar and ambient temperature of 25 degrees celsius after they've mixed together they will form a stream number three we are going to pump everything here to our heat exchanger now the purpose of the heat exchanger in this simulation here is to ensure that we increase the temperature from 26 degrees celsius to 90 degrees celsius after our reaction takes place we can therefore then separate our water into hydrogen and oxygen now this stream will be fed into reactor one this reactor here acts as our electrolyzer and we will be separating our water into hydrogen and oxygen now stream six will then further move to the separator after it moves to the separator we now have to separate our resulting stream of six into hydrogen and pure oxygen you will notice that there will be some few small traces of um, hydrogen in stream seven as well as some small fraction as well of some water vapor so our oxygen is not pure it's 86 percent oxygen and a few traces of hydrogen and water now this oxygen here to be prevented from being sent into the atmosphere and causing some further damages we can therefore decide to sell it into to separate industries that make use of this oxygen into their process simulations but for us because we don't need it as a byproduct we will be selling it and just solely focusing on hydrogen that was produced the produced hydrogen will therefore further move into the mixer mixer 2 has two inlet streams which is hydrogen and pure nitrogen our nitrogen is pure does not have any other impurities such as argon or any other traces of what we don't want these two will mix together and will form stream 10 still at one bar but the temperature it's slightly higher at 74 because what increased the pressure we are now therefore going to move everything through a compressor to increase the pressure from one bar to 200 bar also the temperature drastically increased in this scenario everything now flows 
two mix of three. Three mix of three has two in the streams. One of them is actually the mixed nitrogen and hydrogen at high temperatures and pressures still. A second heat exchanger is used just to slightly increase the temperature from 300 to 500. Now, this was determined to be favorable for our Haber-Bosch process, which is whereby we react nitrogen and hydrogen together to form ammonia. The reaction takes place in sort of our second reactor here. After the reaction takes place, we'll see some few traces of ammonia, nitrogen, and hydrogen forming from our product reactor stream, which is 15. The aim is now to reduce the temperatures. We will therefore use this heat exchanger here, heat exchanger 3. This heat exchanger is used to reduce the temperature. Um, one can also introduce another heat exchanger, actually. Introduce the fourth heat exchanger into this process relation to further reduce the temperature of of ammonia because ammonia is liquid at lower temperatures. The stream then moves to the separator whereby we achieve 99% conversion of ammonia and we can recycle some few byproducts that we don't want in our ammonia stream such as nitrogen and hydrogen to go back and re-react. Hence we have mixer 3 with an inlet stream of 12 which mixes together with stream 11. I hope that makes sense. The next step now is to do a detailed design of our heat exchanger, HET3, and also a detailed design of our reactor, the RECT, the second one.